everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. Um, today there's a little bit of a different video. Um, I wanted to do a speed build, but unfortunately some of the footage got lost, so I wasn't able to do that. But I've done a lot of things uh, since the last video, so I'm just going to show you guys. Let me know if you like this type of video. So the first thing I did is I built a, hongo, a bongo habitat, and that's actually located next to the otters. Let me just pause it for better frames. So. On the other side, we have the Pygmy Hippo. Here, so it's very close to the entrance. And here we had always this little, well, pretty large and beautiful water feature. And around here, I always kind of wanted to do a habitat. And now we have a bongo habitat. So you walk in here, there is obviously a lovely waterfall with some steam effects as well, which I it just, I, I love it. We have some underwater plants, you know, just to give it a little bit of touch, a little bit of extra. And there we have the bongo habitat. Now they have this very crazy habitat and you have this lovely barn idea. And on the other side, you have like uh, doors that would you know, be closed in theory, but you know, we're not gonna do that. And we have this glass roof. So, you know, they have a little bit of uh, natural light in here. There's also a lot of vegetation on there, vegetation in here. No, we just, uh, I, I kind of liked how it turned out. Oh, look, we even have a baby. That's so cute. Look how big its ears are. That's really adorable. Oh, and this habitat walks all the way around. We have two babies. But that's not all we did. Now let's just follow the path here. So we had, you know, the bongo, then we had the otters. Didn't change anything about that. Let's just scooch through. Then we go through the night house. Boom. Then uh, here we have the doll, which I had footage of is already a speed build. But then we're going to go into some interesting territory. We're going past the panda. And here the water, I already placed some fences down, you know, just to see if I like that. I do like that. Here we have a hippo habitat. Now this is new. We had obviously the bridge leading to the um, nose monkeys. And now we have our own hippo habitat right there. You can see the hippos are there. But we're gonna start on this side because there's this little lookout over the water and you need to pretend this is like food and drinks for the animals so you can feed them. Oh, I made this little thing which I think like is really cute. I can hear my cat meowing. And um, so we have this little hippo statue. Like there's actually a statue there. Like you didn't, you thought it was a real happy hippo, didn't you? But it's nuts. <laughs> And like, that's not all, obviously we have like the, um, yes, like, I'm sorry, my cat's licking my face. Obviously we have like the big over the water, but then we also have under the water. See, I built an entire underwater world and they can actually walk here as well. So that's pretty, pretty dope if you say so myself. So let's check out uh, the other side of the hippo habitat. You know, we have this, uh, the, we use natural barriers, the null barriers, and then we use uh, stones, or I use stones. And if you want to see any of the streams back, you can. Um, they're on my Twitch. Twitch is linked in the description because last weekend I actually switched for the Kengo in 2021, and we raised almost 7,000 pounds for the Kengo Wildlife Ranch in South Africa, which is absolutely amazing, by the way. So this habitat build was part of that. Unfortunately, um, I wasn't able to receive the footage because it didn't download from Twitch, which was extremely weird. It didn't export to YouTube itself. So we're going to do it this way. But look, if he's going to play with it, let's press it on play. Oh, he's not going to play with it. He's just going to stand there. So the idea of this is that they walk out and then they will walk directly in here. You know, they go, they obviously they go underwater. It is lovely underwater area for them. But obviously they're not going to do that right now. And then we built this dome, which I absolutely love. You know, they can sit here, the glass roof. It's freaking cute. I love the plants as well. And actually the whole habitat is just, uh, you know, natural berries, obviously. And then a lot of vegetation and stuff. And I really, really like it. I really enjoy it. Now we put some hippos in here. So um, this is not the only thing we built. We also built here the pangolin habitats there are a lot of pangolins in here already um they have a little cave or well, i say a little quite big cave right here where they can sleep 
And then, uh, you know, obviously they have a waterfall feature as well, because I like waterfalls. There. And, you know, this is directly directed next to the panda habitat. So, you know, you walk out the panda habitat or walk in just what you want. You can now see the Chinese pangolin there, which is absolutely amazing. And usually, like, it is um, a... You can actually put a, um, you know, walkthrough habitat for the pangolins. But I didn't want to do that because that sometimes can be really stressful for them. So this is just a walk by habitat. But again, that is not all that we did. Let me just zoom out. But with that, we did finish off this section of the zoo. Like that section. This is now completely done. Now we're going to go over to this section. Because this is actually the last section we still need to do. So we have the clouded leopards right there. And we have the... Uh, orangutan and the capuchins here and if we just go down here now we actually have a lot of habitats we have a bongo another bongo and okapi habitats right now with uh also nialas in here so it's a little bit of a mixture of both built this as well on stream for the kangothan and i actually uh, i like it they have like this really weird looking shelter with levels split levels but I, I like it. And here they have this lovely water feature with you know, the very small, tiny waterfalls, which is, you know, I, I would use that again. It's, it's amazing. And I absolutely love the water feature that you have here. It looks so natural, like amazing. And then we started on a crocodile habitat. So I haven't quite finished that, but I lost the begin footage. So um, might as well show you guys right now. They have like this big, enormous, well, you know, body of water, obviously. Some locks in there to prevent you from like, oh, that's a crocodile. No, it's not, it's just a lock. We do need to build them a shelter still, you know, and nicen up the place a little bit because, yikes, this is not really uh, up to my standards, what I expect from and what I usually build. But I do love the glass barriers though, like that's a really nice touch. And with that, we are starting on the last section of our Red Tail Zoo. Now I have calculated that I could spend about, you know, we have one, two, this is gonna be a station for the monorail. We have uh, three, four, five, six, seven, seven habitats perhaps still here. Uh, perhaps six, you know, we might wanna do a little bit of a food court here. Who knows, like we're gonna see, but at least we have like at least five. So um, the Red Tail Zoo is coming to an end very shortly, like in a m two months, I think we're done. And that would mean that I have spent almost a year on this zoo and I absolutely love it. Obviously, there's going to be to need some finishing touches, you know, uh, lights, for example, on all the paths, but also barriers because, uh, you know, you can just fall in the water here. It's not very... Oh, well here not what well, that's a bad example so there are places where you can still uh you know fall into the water and there aren't any barriers can't find them right now but oh well there were places where i still needed to put up barriers <laughs> so, so we want them to you know finish it up and then after that we're going to do an amazing tour uh as you can see the zoo is closed right now just because um you know, I, my computer can barely handle this soon. If there are like 5,000 guests in here, we won't be able to do it. I think for the tour, perhaps we are going to put some people in here, like two, 300 people, I think. But that's, you know, that's gonna come next week. So um, I'm looking forward to next week. And again, guys, if you have any suggestions for the types of animals you would like to see here, bear in mind it is a tropical zoo. So if you have any tropical, um, you know, animals that we haven't used yet, let me know plus if you have any ideas for the following zoo that i should start because after this we are obviously going to start another zoo let me know i was thinking of maybe doing a franchise zoo as well let me know what you guys think about that idea so i'm sorry for the loss of footage uh again but i just i can't recover it it's a bit of a short episode this week but i hope you guys like it nonetheless and i will see you on monday with our zoo tour bye guys